What's up friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music where we help each other become better artists. All right, this is a brand new series that you guys have overwhelmingly requested, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna share 10 of my favorite K-pop comebacks each month and talk about what I thought each one did well. But remember, I only have so much time though, so if you don't see your favorite listed, it isn't intentional erasure or cause I necessarily hated it. So please comment below telling me your favorite K-pop comebacks this month. Subscribe if you're new, hit that like button. And here are some of my favorite K-pop comebacks for January, 2023. Got the Beat came out swinging both last year and this year with Stamp on it. I'm all for this cross-generational lineup, which is why I made a dedicated video about them, but really, their entire mini-album slays with notes and key changes that I found exhilarating, challenging, and musically interesting as a producer. Queens upon queens truly reaching goddess level, pun intended. For me, this was a slam dunk. Monster X did not come to play when they dropped Beautiful Liar. It's literally so good. The shuffle beat is addicting, their vocals are sultry and beautiful. Moon Bebe's got fed well with this fantastic treat. This may or may not be controversial to say, but I think this is one of my favorite comebacks from them. The music video looks slick, the members eight, like all around Beautiful Liar is a top tier drop, and I hope they continue to see more and more success as 2023 continues. New Jeans keeps coming with bops after bops. I really enjoyed OMG for its chill vibe and catchiness. New Jeans is making quite the name for themselves for their newness, but throwback vibe. I really hope we get a mini album from them later in the year. Not soon enough to overwork them, obviously, but I just want to hear what they'll do next, because OMG was just a great way to kickstart 2023. Twice's pre-release English single Moonlight Sunrise was an instant favorite for me. The song contains some more difficult sounds for non-native English speakers to pronounce and they sounded fantastic. They've improved so much and this song is great. Momo sounded great, Chaeyoung's rap definitely gave me Megan Thee Stallion vibes and I'm absolutely here for it. I can't wait to see them honored at Billboard's Women in Music. Moonlight Sunrise is sleek and mature and still feels very twice. I'm really looking forward to more new music from them throughout 2023. Astro is a group that I always enjoy but I never really get a chance to talk about enough. So when I saw Moonbin and Sana were making a comeback, I knew I had to take the opportunity. Madness is so good. It's a super catchy song that I ran to Spotify immediately to add to my playlist. The boys look so good in the music video, and for me, it's everything I could have wanted and more. The darker concept was smashed. Vocals are top notch. It's an awesome track. Stream it now if you haven't already. Now, a quick shout out to this video sponsor, DistroKid. DistroKid is one of the top music distributors helping independent artists like you and me get our music up on places like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, and even here on YouTube. If you're a budding artist wanting to share your tracks with the world, this is the place for you. Plus, DistroKid has a lot more awesome features than just distribution too, like Hyperfollow. Hyperfollow is an excellent tool to help you promote your latest release and also collect email addresses to grow your music business. You can promote your music videos, social media links, and more. It's also free to use which is awesome. Another amazing feature from DistroKid is promo cards. Promo cards are again free but sick looking images featuring your album art to showcase your music. You can share them on your socials to drive people to your music and get people streaming. Similarly, mini videos are like promo cards except you'll be able to highlight parts of your songs and get people interested in your music. You can customize them and share them across all your accounts to get people streaming ASAP. Use my special VIP link to save yourself 7% on your first year's membership with DistroKid. Link is in the description. Hyunjin's solo release, while not an official solo debut, still deserves all the love and then some. She said she wanted to change the idol industry and by tackling toxic fan culture and toxic industry standards from the get-go is certainly a great start. The song is catchy in a way that not only makes you want to sing along, but also think about its message. I love pop music that makes you think, and the fact that she wrote, produced, and did the art for it makes me love it even more. It's been so long since Taeyong dropped new solo music, and to me, this was 100% worth the wait. Seeing Jimin work with his idol filled me with so much joy because I'm sure that it's been such a dream come true for him. Furthermore, the song is great. Both of them always shine in an R&B style that showcases their vocals, they complement each other well, and it truly is the moment. I hope more solo stuff is coming from each of them soon because if it sounds like vibe, I can't wait to hear what comes next. Tomorrow by Together dropped an amazingly fire track that is definitely one of my favorites from not only January, but also from TXT in general. The way this song leads to a fantastic climax combining its main elements without losing its melodic quality is fantastic. Their vocals are awesome and the visual is beautiful. I'm not surprised they became a million seller with the name chapter because they just keep getting better and better. 
Sugar Rush Ride is 100% a bop. The Seraphim really is continuing to come back strong, and their official Japanese debut is no exception. The music video is quite a bit brighter than its Korean counterpart, which is pretty normal for Japanese versions of K-pop songs, but it doesn't lose the elegance and confidence of the original. Sakura and Kazuha appropriately seem to get more screen time, but I still felt the music video was well balanced. I hope they continue to drop more Japanese language music in 2023, because I have a soft spot for Japanese K-pop songs, but really, it's a great track regardless and super satisfying. You guys introduced me to Dreamcatcher last year, and the more I hear from them, the more I'm obsessed with them. Not only is their concept cool, but their vocals are always incredible. Their rock-infused music creates exciting and delicious melodies that offer a unique dynamic not often seen in modern K-pop. Reason is a great example of that and an overall amazing track that, despite only being a special celebratory release, deserves all the praise and attention. I hope to see Dreamcatcher continue to get more and more love because with songs like Reason, they absolutely deserve it. Overall, this month was action-packed. It's a brand new year and K-pop did not come to play. I think my favorite comeback for January overall was probably Got the Beat in Twice, but everything was just so good. I hate narrowing it down to 10. I know there's some comebacks I didn't include today due to time, so let me know in the comments what's on your playlist. Subscribe so you don't miss my uploads, become a member if you enjoy my content and want to support me even further. Don't forget to leave a like, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.